Life is fragile. Without warning, it can change in an instant. That was the experience of Liz Fust, a healthy young woman with a successful career and bright future ahead. One day, suddenly, inexplicably, her life changed completely. The morning of January 28, 2006, I. Uh, had a whole lot of work to do at home in the morning and I was a little uh, wakeful because of that in the morning and I rolled over in bed literally and felt great pain in my back and um, got up and it, it literally took my breath away. I um, felt nauseated and I went to the, the bathroom and that's where I collapsed on the floor um, and uh, my legs just went hot and then numb and the numbness came all the way up to my rib cage and I couldn't move. Liz, an active 38 year old attorney, had suffered a spinal cord stroke, a sudden loss of blood to the spinal cord that left her unable to care for herself. You learn about what really life is about. It's, it's really about learning how to deal with adversity. It's about relationships in the face of adversity and for me it became about learning how to sit up. Living with the devastating aftermath of spinal cord injury is something that can happen to any one of us at any time. Whether it be a car wreck, a work accident, a fall at home, or even a spinal stroke. In fact, there are 30 new spinal cord injuries in the United States every day. With medical advances, the fatality rate is just 5%, leaving survivors and families to cope with catastrophic paralysis. Luckily for Liz and anyone in our community who may become paralyzed by an accident or illness, there is hope for a better future thanks to a groundbreaking program at Fraser Rehab Institute in Louisville. Through a partnership with the University of Louisville and Kentucky Spinal Cord Injury Research Center, the pioneering patients who have had the chance to take part in this therapy are experiencing dramatic improvements in their quality of life. Some are even walking again. And the push is on to make this therapy more widely available. Dr. Susan Harkema, a researcher recruited through Bucks for Brains to U of L, is at the frontier of this medical innovation. After spinal cord injury, you still have that capacity of the spinal cord to generate standing and walking. If you can reteach it to do it without the same signals from the brain. And the way we do that is to use stepping and standing motions to send those signals back to the nervous system and we do it over and over and over and we retrain those networks to stand and walk even when input from the brain is compromised. Called locomotor training, this promising program at Fraser Rehab is one of just a handful in the United States and the lead center for the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation's Neuro Recovery Network established to fuel breakthroughs in spinal cord treatment. The results are life-changing. John Hibbard fell off a two-story scaffold while working as a bricklayer. He thought he might be a paraplegic for the rest of his life. I sit paralyzed for two months. Uh, I don't know how, where I'd be without it. I appreciate the class a lot. I thank all of them. For Michelle West, who was shot in the back as she attempted to leave her abusive husband, Frazier's program has helped get her life back. I had very, very little movement. I mean, I could move a toe and then maybe move my foot a little bit. And then before I left that um, inpatient, I was able to kick my legs forward some. But other than that, I, didn't, I couldn't stand up or anything. Louisville business owner Mark Plummer left a round of golf with a blinding headache that ended up being the first sign of a paralyzing hematoma. When I woke up the next day, all I could do was blink. That's pretty scary. Mark was ready to travel anywhere in the country to regain his physical abilities. He quickly learned he didn't need to leave the support of his family and friends. One of the leading programs in the country was right here in his hometown. I guess the way I describe the locomotive program, that first morning when I woke up and all I could do was blink, I prayed harder than I've ever prayed in my life for a miracle. And I was hoping the next morning I'd wake up and I'd get up out of bed and I'd just walk out of Frasier and, and life would be back to normal. 
The locomotor program is the answer to that prayer. Even people like Jen Beauvert, who became a quadriplegic after a rollover car accident in 2001, are regaining physical abilities long after their injury. You know, it's made a lot, a lot more things accessible to me. I feel more comfortable and just it's made everything in my body stronger, I think. Even if the person doesn't gain the ability to stand and walk, their bones get stronger, their muscles get bigger, they can breathe easier, and they have better heart function. Despite these remarkable results, we are only at the beginning. There is much more to be done. There exists a long waiting list of spinal cord injury survivors who want access to the program to reach their full potential. Yet despite the recent expansion of Frazier, the spinal cord program faces a critical need to add space, equipment, and trained professionals. With rising costs and reimbursement that often fails to cover the cost of care, it is difficult for a not-for-profit hospital to offer this innovative therapy. To bridge this gap, Liz Fust is leading a campaign to raise philanthropic support for equipment, trained professionals, and added space so critically needed by the spinal cord program at Fraser. I want to make this available as broadly as possible. I want to have as much access to it, and I want as many people as possible to have access to it. I also think that Fraser Rehab and this program is a community asset, and so it requires community support. It's, it's something that any one of us could, could need at any time. I mean, I'm a testament to the fact that anything can happen to anyone. So I think that it deserves to be the very best it can be for all of us. If you want to give a gift of hope, please consider giving to the Jewish Hospital and St. Mary's Foundation for the Liz Fust Community Fund. Your support will make a tangible difference in the lives of people living with spinal cord injuries. They work miracles. It's not meant to be a catchphrase. Where I've come in the last 14 months, it's the answer to that prayer for a miracle.